Well, what is going on, happy people? If you are new to the channel, I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and we are on the island of Rota right now. All over the world, people eat wild hogs. Especially on islands like this, they raise hogs. Pete has a farm up here on top of the mountain, and he's got a bunch of hogs. Today, he's gonna get one, take it back to the house, we're gonna process it, and then cook it on a spit. This is a pig. Catch, clean, and cook. We need to cut coconut and call them. So we select the good size, 20 pounder. Grab them, put them on the kennel, bring it down home. Let's do it. All right. Is what I call the Woo! I'm officially deaf. So you select which one among the two? Which one? The good side? Uh, whichever. That one on the right there. This one? Yeah. Okay. So I know it's kind of sad, weird to a lot of you, picking out a hog like this and taking it back to roast. They are cute. They're adorable little things. But this is life, and on these islands, it's not like they can just run over to the local Publix and pick up some fresh pork chops. They put in the work, they toil the land, and they take care of the game here, the, the animals here, so that when they wanna have a dinner, when they wanna have a pig roast, they can come up here and do this. It doesn't happen on its own, they make it happen. that wood that you did the video on. All right, you guys, so the hog is now dead. They're gonna clean it up. They're washing it right now. Then they're gonna start the scalding process. John is gonna stay here and film all of that. And I am going up that mountain because I'm after a sandbar buck. Getting a lot done in a little bit of time. Hope you guys enjoy this because I'm coming home to eat it. All right, we're just gonna put some uh, sugut akko. That's the name of this wood in here to get the spit ready for when we put the pig up to to um, turn it on the spit. We're gonna put about half of the the hog in the water. Make it so that the water gets uniform. Good. Perfect. Okay. Let's go. Okay, go. Come on. They're uh, just trying to sanitize the whole surface, clean it all up, put a little soap, scrub into the, try to get the dirt out of the pores, clean the table, get everything all sanitized so we can gut the pig and Get the processing going. When we put the pig on the spit, we want to concentrate the heat right where the pig is. Okay, now the, the pig is nice and clean, ready for us to start the processing. First thing we're going to do is remove the feet. Uh, we're going to save those to cook later in a different dish. Mm -hmm. 
So we're done scalding it, we've gutted it, and now we're ready to season it. Cut a little slit here so I can slip the wire through and tie the leg tight, secure it so it doesn't move anywhere. Now we did that with one leg, we're gonna do the same thing with all four legs. Everybody around here has their own expertise, but we're all experts at nothing. So we got the Everglades heat. Tell me what you're doing. Oh man, Everglade on lemongrass. Everglade on lemongrass. Woohoo! Only in Luta. where experience comes in. Okay, now it's time to put some salt and pepper. The salt is the more important component there because it helps uh, make the skin crispy. It's got to keep turning over constantly over about a two hour period and then it'll be ready to go. You don't need a power steering here? <laughs> I'm going to take these uh, two coconut halves and put them into the fire strategically. The coconut meat and the coconut husk add a, a nice flavor and color to the, to the uh, cooking. Part of the Chamorro magic. Close, but no cigar. Oh, God. What's all the fuss about? Well, they said that these deer bark. That's no lie. When I, when I say they bark, they sound like, like a dog. <laughs> like seriously, it's the craziest thing. Y'all are here to see me? Yes! <laughs> They're trying to make me blush or something, you know? <laughs> Golly! Who's this cute little thing? What's her name? Kalana. Kalana? Kalana. Oh man, I miss my girl so much. Hey, Kalana! That is the coolest hairdo ever! Look at that. Look at that hairdo. Sarah would love that. What's your name? Ethan. Ethan? What is it? Ethan. Ethan? Ethan. Ethan? I'm, I have really bad hearing, so I'm sorry. What's yours, bro? Anthony. What's up, my man? You doing all right? How old are you? 13. 13? You're strong, man. You got big old strong hands. Golly. <laughs> and if you guys were wondering, when I was up in the mountains, oh, we had a buck coming to us. Everything was right, but he either smelled us or saw us and started barking. I was very depressed, but I'm very excited to see this pig. You guys sit here and do it by hand like this the whole time? Well, unless you're gonna take my turn, then we're gonna do it by hand the whole time. Oh my god. Well, you don't like the noise, huh? Oh, it's not that I don't like the noise. It'll sound like <laughs> on video. All right, yeah, you're right. Well, that's good. I didn't think about that. So what's the scoop with uh, the fire? Okay, there's uh, local hardwoods in there, but the key in that fire right there is we got some coconuts that we just split in half, so the whole the coconut meat, everything is still in there, and that gives it a nice uh, special uh, flavor and color yeah. because the, the coconut husk gives a little red color. You look like you've been smoked by coconut husk. You have the like. I, I'm right here, right. You have the exact same color as that pig. That is so awesome. I'm right in it. <laughs> this is so amazing. I can't. Hey, I cannot thank you enough for nope, this. No problem, brother. All right. Well, I'm gonna go shake some hands and give go. some people some hugs and have a good time out here.
Okay, so listen, dude. Damien shows up and he's like, he's the rock, paper, scissor champion of Rhoda. He's like, what you got? I'm like, dude, bring it. You ready? Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! Best out of three. Come on. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Who wins out of paper and, and rock? Paper and rock. I didn't even go, I didn't even win half. He crushed me. That's why you're the reigning champion, brother. Damien owns this island. I'm just visiting. <laughs> to the champ. Thank you. You're welcome, Damien. The true test, see the tail? When you can break that tail off. She's done. It's ready to party. Yeah. Holy cow. That right there is the delicacy. Yeah. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. What do you think? Yeah. Awesome. Look, now everyone comes in, gets a piece of skin. Yeah. I'll grab a piece of that skin. Oh my god. Good. Where's Tony? Tony? Awesome, buddy. Dude. That is on a different level of amazing. Oh, that's going on YouTube. Is it good? This girl right here beats all the boys in arm wrestling at her school, and she's only 10 years old. When we were up there, you look at the little pigs and they look so cute and innocent, but that's what they do. They raise food. They take care of their island this place is so clean. Like if you just like drive down the road and look at how beautiful the island of Rhoda and the CNMI is, it's because them, it's because they take care of it. It's because they work to provide for their families. Now, here I am showing up and have a party and can eat all this wonderful food. Although I did no work for it. It's pretty amazing. So I want to tell all of you guys, I love you and I appreciate you being a part of this. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was amazing to be a part of it. But that's all I got for you now. We're going to eat the rest of this, get a good night's sleep, and wake up and do it all again tomorrow. We gone!